This is Steve Ridgell, and I was reading some a material from a group called Open Doors that evaluates persecution and martyrdom around the world for Christians. And the country that is the most dangerous place for a Christian now is Afghanistan. 6,000 Christians martyred there last year that they are aware of. Now, sometimes it's hard to get statistics because sometimes uh, Christians are killed immediately after their conversion and it's not even recorded or clear. Uh, and so that's a little frightening. And one of the other things that makes it high on Afghanistan high on the list is uh, sometimes conversion to Christianity is considered, uh, well, a mental illness, that you're insane. And Christians are often committed to, to mental institutions. And you're going, okay, well, I, so are we supposed to be careful if we go to Afghanistan? Most of you looking at this aren't going to Afghanistan, but I am going to tell you a couple of things I think why it's worth our knowing. One is, I just, we need to be in prayer for our brothers and sisters around the world who really face persecution. I hear people sometimes say in our culture, we Christians here in America are persecuted. And yes, we live in a culture that is overtly non-Christian, but most of us are not in danger of losing our lives because we're Christians, certainly not at this point in our history from government persecution. Now, I, I'm one of those guys that believes maybe not my grandkids, but my great grandkids certainly may grow up in a country that's overtly, that overtly persecutes Christians. Uh, Christians being persecuted has by far been the norm through our history, not the exception. So I think we ought to be in prayer for our brothers in Afghanistan. It ought to make us aware that sometimes there is a huge price to pay for deciding to follow Jesus. Everybody pays a price to follow Jesus. I mean, not the least of which is there are things in my life I have to change if I'm going to follow Jesus. Those of us who grew up in Christian households don't always recognize that. But sometimes we did. Sometimes we found things in our life that we thought, wait a minute. This is not how I'm supposed to live. I've got to change this. I've got to start doing this or stop doing that. And that's hard sometimes. And the other thing I want you to realize is that as a Christian, we have already died. Your baptism was actually a death into Jesus and a resurrection to a new life. And if we really believe that, I, I think there are places in Afghanistan and other places where we're people decide to become a Christian and they're baptized, that they very much understand. I'm being baptized into Christ's death. I'm being crucified with Jesus. I think they very much frame their baptism as a death. So that if they die physically in this life for their faith, they very much are aware that they have already died and given themselves to Jesus and that they will be resurrected and live with God forever. We need to think through how serious it is to follow Jesus. It's not like a souped up Kiwanians club or rotary on steroids. It is a life changing decision. And if you are part of a group that really is more like rotary and Kiwanians, you're not really doing church together yet. So we need to keep praying for our brothers and sisters in places like Afghanistan, and we need to realize that it matters here also.